Hunter Schaefer is a trans model and actor. He made his acting debut as transgender high school student, Jules Vaughn, in the HBO teen drama television series, Euphoria, which earned her nominations for a Shorty Award, an MTV Movie and TV Award, and a Dorian Award. Schaefer regularly gets featured in magazines, such as the last issue of Another. Of course, everything about it is highly symbolic. The cover of the magazine features a blatant one-eye sign, indicating that everything else inside of it will be elite-sponsored propaganda. And, boy, is it ever. To make sure you understand that this one-eye sign didn't happen randomly, an out-of-it-looking Schaefer poses for another one. In this pic, Schaefer basically looks dead, with mushrooms growing out of the corpse. It's all about the elite's culture of death. This same issue of Another also contained an entire photo shoot with Marina Abramovic, the elite's favorite witch, who is known for catering spirit cooking dinners with the world's most powerful people. The Royal Academy of Arts in London is currently hosting a retrospective of her work, which features insanity, such as a model lying under a skeleton. As usual, mass media is showering her with praise, and the following photo shoot is part of the promo push. Of course, everything about it is highly symbolic. In this picture, Abramovic poses symbolically while wearing red, the color of a cult sacrifice. She stands in front of a red inverted pentagram, which occultly represents black magic and Satanism. I don't think they can make this clearer for us. This is yet another picture of Abramovic around actual human remains. Witches use human skulls to conduct occult rituals. Marina holds the horn or tusk of an animal. In occult symbolism, holding horns means drawing power from dark forces. She loves doing that. This is a picture from 2014, with the same basic message. While Abramovic turned the art world into pure Satanism, various artists are doing the same thing to the music business. Life-sized mannequins of Doha Cat were placed in New York City and Chicago subway stations. Naked and drenched in blood, these figures are meant to promote her album Scarlet. Interesting fact is, the word Scarlet is associated with immorality and sin, particularly in the Bible. Appropriately enough, these figures are a direct reference to the elite sick blood rituals. At the 2023 MTV Music Video Awards, industry pawn Lil Nas X made sure to promote the same agenda. Lil Nas X wore a white dress at the VMAs while holding a Bible, Christianity mocking agenda. In other words, he's an agenda pushing pawn. Meanwhile, Sam Smith follows the same agenda while taking things to a whole other level of sickness. Bro. Seriously. Can Sam Smith look any more silly on this? The tight shirt with a boy biting an apple. The Teletubbies boots. The shorts that should be sued for aggression. They are being very open about their silly ways. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Perfect. As usual, the one eye sign was all over the place last month. Here are a few examples. Mealy Cyrus recently posted one of the most obvious one eye signs one can think of. Considering the fact that she is one of the most obvious industry slaves one can think of, it makes perfect sense. There's a silver lining here. The comments on this post are incredibly encouraging. Kristen McMenemy is a model who reached near iconic status in the 1990s. Despite being 58 years old, she's still modeling and is often featured in magazine photo shoots. However, there's a price for this. Her Instagram account is full of one-eye signs and weird pics referring to monarch programming. In this picture, the monarch butterfly on her privates not so subtly alludes to beta kitten programming. This Vanity Fair cover featuring Bad Bunny is extremely Masonic. First, it says, it's good to be Bad Bunny. That's kind of the elite's motto. Second, Bunny stands on a Masonic checkerboard floor while wearing a checkerboard pattern jacket. 
Also, notice the angle of his feet. On the left. A Masonic feet placement guide from Duncan's Ritual and Monitor of Freemasonry. On the right. George Washington with his feet at a 90 degree angle. This is how they pose in official pictures. Another pic from the same photo shoot. Again, on a Masonic floor. Again, Masonic foot placement. The message is, he is owned by the occult elite. By the way, I'd like to shift the conversation to a history that has piqued my curiosity immensely. Hopefully, you're in the know about this one. Noah's Ark's discovery dates back to 1957, when a Turkish pilot captured a photograph while flying over Mount Ararat, revealing the distinct and recognizable shape of the legendary vessel. The pioneering researcher at the forefront of this investigation was anesthesiologist Roy White. His journey into biblical studies and ancient chronology was prompted by a series of peculiar incidents at his workplace. In 1977, White embarked on a research expedition to Turkey, focusing on archaeological endeavors. After extensive measurements and meticulous scanning of the area, he amassed substantial evidence pointing to the presence of Noah's Ark. Notably, anchor stones were unearthed in close proximity, and the Ark itself was constructed from petrified wood, dating back to the pre-flood era. Remarkably, the Ark's location, aligned precisely with the biblical descriptions and its dimensions, mirrored those found in ancient texts. However, perplexingly, all research findings were retracted prior to publication. Now, the burning question arises. What factors or circumstances led to the withdrawal of Roy White's research findings on Noah's Ark, despite the compelling evidence he had gathered? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.